so that you can go back and watch it. But um, get into it um, and sign up for it right now. And hopefully you can then get into it with us. All right. So the very first thing you're going to do with your video is you're going to upload your video into your media. Okay, so um, actually, let's go back to the very first screen. Uh, this was my old video. That looked like I was in WeVideo, but I wasn't. That was my Zoom from last week. All right, let me get into WeVideo. So WeVideo is a web-based software, which is really great because you could use we video on um, you can use we video on um, a PC or a Mac doesn't matter. Any web web based software like Canva or we video you can use on a Mac or a PC. All right, so the very first thing you're going to do when you get into we video is you're going to select whatever uh, template you want to. Um, Put your video in. So is it something that you're going to want for Facebook? Then you're going to pick that more squared um, template. If you want um, your template to be something that you can post in YouTube, then you're going to want that more horizontal one. And then obviously the Instagram one is one that should be vertical, um, which if you did your video, um, and Beth Ellen, you could have you could have used your old video. Or no, yours was about you. You got your have volume on it. Um. Anyways, if you did your video like this, then I would pick the template in We Video where your camera is vertical. Okay. So, um, so that's the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick your template. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Import. So that Import is all the way to the left, and you're going to click to browse or you're going to click hold and drag your video into that area. Mine is here. It's an MOV file. I grabbed it. I uploaded it from my phone to my computer. So I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, where did you pick the um, size? Where would yeah. you pick the size? Yeah. Where did you decide whether you wanted it horizontal or vertical? Uh, so that's in the very front. So if you click on the We Video icon in the top left, um, it should take you back to that very first home screen. Do you see that? Okay. And so now um, if your image is uploading or your video is uploading, then um, just take that time and let it upload. Um, in the meantime, let's go down to the bottom of where the storyboard is. Let me move this over here. Um, let's go down to where the storyboard is. And I'm just going to uh, remind you of what these are down here. So your storyboard is down here at the bottom. Your library is up here at the top. Your library houses your media. So any uploads that you've done. And you can upload actual videos that you've downloaded from Canva. So if there's like a stock in Canva, so you purchase the full version of Canva and you have like, there's a great video in, in Canva that's like a stock footage. You could download that in Canva and then upload it in here, okay? Um, so this area right here is your media, anything that you've uploaded. To the left of that is stock media. So this is anything that uh, in the pro version or higher that has been provided to you by WeVideo, okay? And you can look up, um, you can search by um, typing in what you want. So um, like I showed you before, if you wanted like a drone neighborhood footage, you could type in drone neighborhood and it gives you a bunch of videos uh, for just neighborhoods. Obviously, you know, if you're in Florida uh, or you're in, you know, Michigan and you pick a neighborhood video with palm trees, not going to necessarily go with your video. So you want it to be, um, you don't want it to look odd. Okay. Um, now, if you want to take a video from your stock media and put it into your uh, your video, 
then you're just going to click hold and drag it down to your storyboard and just place it in your storyboard for right now. Okay. And what we're doing with our storyboard is we're building our story, our video. Our video is our story. Okay. Um, let's say we wanted to, um, you know, have something that says breaking news. Maybe we're, you know, this is uh, breaking news to somebody um, or we, we want to um, do something that's like, wow, this is breaking news. Um, I've done that for a couple of videos of mine, um, mainly listing videos. But um, so you have something like in the front here that's like breaking news. Okay. Um, and so you can, in your time, you can go through these things, but think about what you want in your video and you can go here and search for it. Um, and usually you, you'll be able to find anything that you need. In here, house. There you go. So maybe some, some stock footage of a home, right? Maybe you're doing something about this home market or something like that, and you don't have any footage. Maybe you can use something like that. Okay. So I think, yeah, I think you get the idea, right? All right. Um, you look and see if mine is done. Is everybody's done uploading? And you can create folders in here for your um, content. And I suggest you do that because then you'll end up like mine if you don't. All right, mine's still uploading. Um, now, the other thing that you can utilize um, is this background option right here on the right-hand side, okay? And you could use just static images or you can use video images. So this is a, a video image that um, just is a very subtle background. So if you are using a green screen or a blue screen, um, you can um, have that cut out and have this playing in the background. Any questions so far? Okay. All right, so who um, hasn't, who's his, uh, whose videos are not uploaded yet? Anyone? Okay, probably just mine. I'm gonna go back here, come back here, and I'm gonna go down and get my video. Now, what I want you to do with your video is, um, if it's done uploading, I want you to take it from your library and I want you to bring it down into your storyboard. So click hold and drag it down into your storyboard and just place it on the video one track. Is anybody having issues with that? Well, mine is just taking way too long. So I'm gonna do a different uh, video. Just taking way too long. All right. All right, you guys, it is um, time. Is what? Okay, so I have my clips. I'm just gonna use three of the same. <clears throat> okay, 
Now, if you have one whole clip and you need to um, cut certain sections out, how you're going to do that is you're going to take this, you're going to click on the clip. So you're going to make it uh, so it has this orange box around it. And you're going to move this guide along there, okay, to get to the area that you want to clip out. So um, my suggestion is you first let it play. And then hit the space bar to get it to stop. So that's a little trick for you. Hit the space bar to get it to go to start it and space bar to get it to stop, to stop it, okay? Now, in order to clip out a section, you're gonna, it's gonna be stopped. You're gonna make sure that this, that your selected clip is, has the orange box around it. And you're gonna click on the scissors. You're gonna click on the scissors to cut it. And as you see, it just turned my whole clip into two separate clips. Everybody see that? Okay. Now, this small clip here is the one I do not want. So I'm going to click on it, and I can either um, hover over this little sandwich, uh, black sandwich up here at the top left of that, and click the trash can, or I can just hit the delete button, and it'll delete right out of there. Okay? Then what you want to do is if you click, if you clipped out that section at the very front of your video, you're going to want to click hold and drag your video to the left to get it to the starting point of zero. Because you always want, your videos are always going to start at zero. Okay. So get to the section in your video that you want to clip out and go ahead and clip it. I'm going to work on mine here for a minute. If you make a mistake, can you add it back? So every piece of software on the face of the earth, because we are all imperfect, have this little undo arrow. Always use the undo arrow whenever you um, realize that you've maybe cut in the wrong place. But I will show you that if you move this back over, and then you extend it, it sh you should be able to get your um, the piece back that you had cut out. Okay, but I always say go with the um, the undo because um, that's um, that gets you exactly where you were. All right, there's mine. I cut it right there. And so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go through your clip, if you have a whole clip, and I'd like you to section out the three areas that we're going to clip together. If you don't have them on one clip and you have them separated on the three clips right now, um, then, um, well, actually, I probably should just ask, who has them on one clip? I need to see who, um, put, put me in the chat if you have it in one clip and you need to section it out. Nobody, okay. All right, so we all have our three separate clips then. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the three separate clips down from your um, library down here to the storyboard like I've done, and you're gonna place them on the same line, okay? Now, you could place them on different lines above one another, and you can blend them in to one, each, uh, to one another if you wanted, but for ease, I'm gonna show you just how to create a transition between them using the transitions from WeVideo. So you have the clips right now that you want to clip together. And to put a transition in between those clips, you're going to come up to transition. 
So transition should be where stock media, my media, text, audio, transition, and background is. You're going to click on transition, and you're going to get the different um, options that we video has given you for transitions. Uh, these three right here are usually the ones that I use, the cross fade, cross blur, and the cross zoom. Those are ones that I usually use for my, um, my videos, okay? Um, just a little tip, you don't want to um, have a lot of different transitions in your video. You want them to kind of um, blend into your video um, in a way where they're not so noticeable, okay? Um, like if you're walking to a door, do a zoom to that door when you're transitioning, okay? So you would do like a cross zoom, all right? When you're talking between clips, you're gonna do like a cross blur or a cross fade. Those are usually two good ones, okay? So to, to bring in the transition, you, all you're gonna do is do the same thing um, that you did to bring your video down to the storyboard. You're gonna click, hold, and drag the transition down in between your two clips. and you're gonna let go. And it's gonna put a, a tiny rectangle between your two clips. Any issues with that? Okay. Then you're gonna go over to your next um, section where you, have, uh, where you have to transition two clips and you're gonna um, do another transition in between those two clips. <clears throat> do you recommend always doing transitions or do you, is it okay to just let them flow? Um, you can test it out. It really depends on what you're working on and what you're doing. Sometimes a, a quick, a quick um, change to the next the, to the uh, next image or to the next video isn't a bad thing. So it's really in the eye of the beholder, I feel, um, and depending on what you're working on. So now we have our clips put together. We want to add in some text into our video. All right. Everybody feel confident you can do that? All right, so in order to put text into our video, we're going to click on the text, uh, the text option at the top where stock media, my media, audio, transition, and backgrounds were. And it gives you the list of options for your text. So I'm going to show you um, a couple of them that are good for um, using them when you're um, when you want to highlight either your name or if you're interviewing somebody, their name and their title, um, those are really good uh, things to do when you're putting videos together of interviews. So what I would suggest you do is use what's called a lower third. Anything that says lower third in here is something that you should use for those type of videos. So you can click, hold, and drag it down to the bottom here. And you can um, see what it does. With EXP Realty, or if you just click on the, the, uh, the text up at the top, it shows you what it does. OK, so either or. In order to change um, the text, the color, the size, you're going to double click on that text and it's going to bring up your properties. Here is where we can change our color. And let's say we want to change our color palette to be possibly something orange with black text. Okay. So we've done something like that. Well, what if we want to make it a little bit of transparent? Okay, we could do something like that. Okay, and make it transparent. I don't think that's a good idea with this one, particularly. 
So we're going to do it like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come in and change the text. So we went to our color palette, we changed our color. Now we're going to come in and we're going to change our text. So we're going to put our name in there. And on the second text, we're going to put our title. Now I know on, on mine, you're going to be like, well, oh, Sheila, that's like really small. I can't read it. I agree. And I don't really care for the fonts that this template has for its default. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to change it. And I'm going to change this one as well. So you can go in and change your, um, your font type. And then you can also change your font size. So all you have to do is click on manual and increase your font size. All right, we're good. Okay. I'm going to change my color to white because I don't really care for that. I'm going to change this to white and I'm going to change this to black. There we go. Okay. Um, another tip, if you don't already know this, um, when you have a dark background, you always want to have lighter um, text or um, a lighter shape. Okay. So when you're thinking of layering things, um, your, your back layer is going to be dark, your top layer is going to be light. And then vice versa. If you have your um, back layer light, you want your text dark. Okay. All right. So now we've um, put in our name and our title. We're going to click over to the next um, uh, tab and it's going to give us the transform. And here's where we can increase or decrease our size for our title, okay? We don't always have to have that static um, size that it gives us as a default. We can increase it or decrease it depending on how we want it to look. And then you can place it wherever you want. You can place it up the top here, off to the right, wherever it is you want it. Any questions so far? Seems pretty easy, huh? Y'all gonna be able to do this, right? When when I'm when I'm not here, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, Sheila. Yep, you're so right. Yep, you're right. Especially because you're recording it. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> and I just lost all my stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and grab another clip. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Sometimes I hate the max because I accidentally like do something and then it takes everything away. So, um, okay, transition, cross blur. So with Wii Video, you think we need to buy the version, the paid version on this one? So um, I spoke with somebody, I was just training somebody on the last video. And I think that if you are going to Use video for your future in real estate. Pay for the pro plan version. I have the pro plan version. I don't have the most expensive one. I have the middle of the road one and it suits me just fine. Um, and like I said, I use Canva and we video and that's it. I, I do my just listed or just sold videos for my social media using WeVideo and sometimes using Canva, but a lot, most of the time I use WeVideo. Um, I use, I do all of my listings using WeVideo and any other video content that I want to do. So if I want to do a, a YouTube video, I can, I can do edit in that. I can edit that video in here. Um, all of my tutorials that I do for, um, for people, for other agents, I use WeVideo to screen record, which with the pro plan, you can do that. You can screen record. So it's a great thing to do. Like I, lately, I've been doing that for clients. Um, I'll do an, uh, an RPR report, do it over video, 
very quickly, like two, three minutes. And I'll do a video of it with a screen record and then I'll send it to them. I mean, that makes you look top notch when you're doing something like that, right? They get to know you, they get to trust you, your face is right there and you're going over the value of, of their home and you're giving them value. So yes, um, and it, it, it took me a long way to get there, but yes, I think it's it's very much worth the cost. Just like I think um, to pay for the pro version of Canva, I think it's worth the cost. Any other questions? Okay, so we have our, um, I'm not gonna change this up again. Um, so we have our lower third, okay, and now let's add some B-roll footage into our um, video, okay? So if you're like me on my video, um, most, most likely you only have audio one, video one, and video two tracks on the left-hand side, okay? Those, that's the default of WeVideo. What you need to do is you need to add a track. So you're gonna click this plus sign on the left-hand side, just above your video tracks. Okay, you're gonna click the plus sign and you're gonna make sure that that video is selected and you can either label it here or you can just leave it as video three and, re and label it again later and then click add track. And what that does is it just adds another track into your storyboard. Now, does anybody have a question about why you need tracks or can anybody answer that? Unmute yourself, Beth Allen. Things play on top of each other and that's why you have tracks. Correct. So basically you could put your video at the bottom, text up here, a B-roll up here, and then your low EXP logo right up here. Okay. It just puts things in a layered, um, in a layered way where everything will play nice and smoothly in your video. And again, on the storyboard, you're setting up your story. You're putting your story together. So for our B-roll, we're gonna need that video three line, okay? So what you can do, and I don't normally do this, but if you wanna keep things um, organized, you can always type in B-roll in here, in this, um, in this uh, little spot where it says video three. And you know maybe here in video two, you put, um, you know, text labels. And then video one is, um, you know, your main footage. Okay. It doesn't really matter. It's just uh, for you and understanding what each of the, of the tracks are. Okay. I would add in one more track because I'm going to show you how to put in a brand into your video that can play throughout the whole video. So click the plus sign and we're gonna add in one more video and we're gonna name it brand. Okay. So now we're gonna put in our B-roll. Well, first we have to find our B-roll and to find our B-roll, we're gonna go into stock media. So um, let's say we want a B-roll of a living room. And then we want one of a kitchen. So then you type in kitchen and it should come up with some B-roll for kitchen, okay? Now just place those on the B-roll line. And if we were actually creating a video, you want that B-roll placed in the timing where you would be talking about those particular things that are in the B-roll. So if at this point in my video, in the, in the main footage, if I was talking about the living room, I would, and I wanted that B-roll to come in, I would place that B-roll right at that spot, okay? Now, you're not gonna know exactly that timing until you start playing the video, um, testing it out. 
and um, and then you can adjust it when you need to. All right. So will you see the picture of the couch instead of you then? Yes, because remember it's layered. This bottom footage is on the very bottom. The text is the next one, but remember the text is transparent, okay? It don't, the text is the only thing that comes up. There's no color behind it or anything like that. It's transparent except for that, that text area. So whatever is the next line, which is our B-roll, that's what's gonna play above, it's gonna play over us, okay? And then what's ever on the, the other line above the B-roll is going to play above the B-roll. So if we were to put, let's say we were to put this kitchen over this, well, guess what would happen? The kitchen would play and not the living room. Okay. So always remember when you're working with your storyboard that things are in layers. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Um, any questions? So, so should we assume that whatever's on the top layer is going to show unless it's transparent? Correct. So that's why, um, and we'll go ahead and do it now. I don't know if everybody has it, but um, let's go ahead and add in our branding. So if you have a branded logo that you like, that you want to use, um, if you have a branded footer that you like, that you want to use, um, or if you just have an EXP logo that you want to use, you can go ahead and put that click hold and drag it down and put it into the um, that branded uh, track. Now I did create a banner. I think this one was Jerry's. That is Jerry's. Um, I just created one. Let's see if I have it in here. Give me a second. This one right here. Okay. So um, I'm going to show you in a minute. First, I'm going to show you the um, First, I'm going to show you the EXP one. So see how we have this EXP logo right here? Okay, on the top line is our branding. Well, obviously, we don't want the whole EXP logo to play over us on top of us like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click on that image. Oh, crap. I'm locked up. Oh, you guys, I'm locked. There it goes. Okay. Um, double click on the image and then you get your properties. Okay. The very first one on the top left is transform and transform. We get to scale it. So what you want to do is you want to take it down. You don't want your EXP like this branded over your image. So you want to put it, you want to scale it down kind of like that size. And then click, hold, and drag that image down to the right or to the left or to the up, upper left or upper right, wherever you want your branded information, okay? When you click Save, okay, and you click, hold, and drag that image all the way to the end of the video, then, then it's going to play for the entire video. I'm going to just increase mine a little bit and I'm going to move it up a little bit. There we go. All right. So if I let mine go, you can barely see it because I have a blue background, but it's right there for the entire video. Okay. So having it on the top line means that it's on top. Okay. If I were to move this down move these items up, okay? So now these are on the very top line. And I move my branding to the to the line below it. What do you think is going to happen? 
you're not going to see that exp logo you're going to see that couch come up and that exp logo is going to be hidden behind it all right so if i screens for youtube and thumbnails see YouTube. there's no the exp logo there okay so just keep that in mind when you're layering different things that if you see something that's behind you and you're like, oh, that's, that should be in front, you have to change where it is in your tracks. You have to change the track that it's on. Does that make sense? Okay. So I'm going to move this um, back down here. I am going to get rid of the EXP. Now you can create something like this in Canva. And I have a, a video on um, my software skills for agents on YouTube that shows you how to do this. And it also shows you how to put it into a video. But you can create any green screen that you want just simply by making the background green, okay? So all I did was upload the image in here. Now what I want to do is I want to um, double click on the image. And uh, bear with me because the system is moving slow. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Here we go. Okay. Um, in order to take the green screen out of there or any screen. Okay. So let's say you did a, a maybe a white background. I wouldn't do a white background if you have white text. Um, I would always just do green because rarely do, are you ever going to do like a, like a green, like a crazy green like this um, in your uh, images or in any of your branding. So I always suggest doing these green screens for your images when you want to take out the background. In order to take out the background, you're going to click on this little color keying, which looks like a little person. You're going to click on the dropper. And you're going to click over here on the green. And what that does is it picks up the color of your green and it puts it in here and it takes away that green out of your image. Okay. Now what we have is our branding through the whole video. And so that image will play for however long you want that image to play for. So it'll be at the bottom of your video. Learn how to do an end screen for your YouTube video, but you just didn't know where to start. For how long? for how long you have it on your timeline. All right. Any questions about that? How do you get to the, um, to that icon where that little image, that little person image is located? You're gonna double click on that image of your branding where your green is Okay. Then you're going to click the dropper and then you're going to come over here to the green part and click the green. Okay. And then click save. All right. Any other questions? Okay. Um, I'm going to just take mine out of there because I don't really need it. And I'm going to move my B-roll up. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to place some of the B-roll here and put it here. Okay. Now you can put different text throughout your video. So come up to text again, and you can use any one of these options that are not lower thirds. And you can do like titles with them or um, just different things that you may 
can show you in the software skills for agents. You know, want to do like pro and con or um, I don't know, um, five secrets or, you know what I mean? Just titles that pop up here and there. Um, you can use these different ty type of title things to do that. Okay. And again, just click on it to see what it does. And it just gives you a sample. So that way, you know um, what it'll look like in your video. Remember, you can change out the color, you can change out the font type, it doesn't have to look exactly like that, and you can make it smaller or bigger. Any questions? All right, um, this is another good one to use. Um, I'm gonna come in here. Now, if we wanted our titles to show up over our B-roll, Okay, so see how I have my title here? What would I do if I wanted my title to show up over my B-roll? Move it on top. To which track? Yes, I read your lips, but yes. <laughs> You're muted. Yes, you would move it up here. And so when you played it, it would show over your B-roll, okay? So Tonight remember you're layering. Tonight we are doing a Canva clip. Remember you're layering when you're using text. So just because this is a text track doesn't mean you can't make another text track up here, okay? Any questions there? All right. Um, I'm just going to say glorious kitchen remodel. And I'm just going to just change it to red. Okay. All right. Um, and then finally, not that. Finally, um, in our video, we want to either put an end screen or our branding information. And then there was a light. Um, our branded information. Now you can create um, a branded video or a branded image in Canva and bring it in here. And I suggest that you do that and use that for every video that you do. Um, you don't wanna have a different brand end to every video you want to stay consistent in your branding. So stay consistent in color, text, and what it looks like. Okay. So you can create something in Canva, download it, and then upload it here into WeVideo. So my end screen, I have uh, one for just my regular listing videos, and then one that I have for my subscribe uh, for my uh, other YouTube channel. Okay, so this is an end screen that you can use when you're doing um, other videos. So something like this, and I think we learned this uh, a couple weeks ago for end screen. Okay, um, just something like this where it shows subscribe and then you can put your uh, end cards here. Okay, but I suggest uh, something very simple to start out with. You don't have to do all this stuff that I'm showing you. Just do something very simple, an image like this. Uh, let me find mine. It's right here. It's this image right here. Now, you'll notice on images, I can pull an image however long I want it, okay? Images, you can do that with. Images can go on and on and on and on and on. Videos cannot. Videos have a, a, a certain time that they play and that's it. You can't extend that time at all. You can only shorten that time or cut that time, 
okay? So at the end is my branded video. And what I could do with this is I could um, set up an animation where in the start of the video, it's small. And by the end of the video, it's full screen, okay? So if I go to play it right now, that's how it shows up, okay? But it's going awful slow, Sheila. Yes, because of how long this image plays, okay? If I shorten the length of this, Now you notice it it zooms in faster, right? If I come in even shorter with my timing, it'll be really fast. Okay? So just know that to play around with it is beneficial so that way you can get that um, that exact timing that you want for people to see it. I would suggest that you don't have it very long, um, three seconds, maybe five, um, and, and just have it enough. Um, if you have it Zoom, um, they can generally um, see what it says and get a number written down, um, or they can just you know rewind a little bit and 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 go back to it. Okay. The very last thing that I suggest for you um, to do on the video part of it um, is to put a transition to black, okay? And I say this on all my videos. So do this on listing videos, do this on just sold videos, like any video you do, I always tell you, would tell you to transition to black because that closes out the video. So when you go like this, it closes out the video, okay? If you if you take that transition off, if you take that transition off, then it basically just ends with that still image right there. So it just depends on how you want it. It just depends, okay? Now, the very, very last thing you're gonna do um, is add audio to your video, okay? Now, if this is a video where you're talking over most of it, you can still have an audio playing in the background, but have it very, very low. And then you can, maybe in the branding part of it, you can raise that sound up and play it a little louder. So we're going to go ahead and add in just some audio here from uh, we videos library. Okay. And again, you can always just click on one of these to hear the sound that's playing. Okay, right now I'm just going to grab this ambient one and I'm going to click hold and drag it down just like I did all my other clips and all my uh, media and everything like that. So this is going to play under your voice. This is going to play over my voice. My voice, you'll still hear my voice, but the music will be playing as well. Now, if you want to hear my voice, what do you think you should do with the volume on, on this? Turn it down, right? So to turn it down, see this blue line right here? This is your sound. You're gonna take it down. If you're talking, you should ideally probably have it down to about 5%, maybe even, maybe even lower. You have to test it out. Okay, it's ever so subtle in the background. I can hear it, but it's not overpowering my voice or anything. It's just very subtle. Sheila okay. Kuhn here. Tonight we are doing now, if I want this to play at the very end of my video and it's run out of room, okay, see, see how I've run out of, of music here? I grab that same clip and I come down here and I place it right after that clip, 
Now, I don't want this clip to completely play out. I'm going to shorten it down. And then I'm going to put this one right next to it. I'm going to move this one right next to it. And I'm probably going to shorten the beginning of it because the beginning of it played a little bit differently. And so I'll probably do something like that. Okay. So the music is a little bit tougher. If, if you have a longer video, it might, it might be difficult to um, get the right transition between the, the music, but you can do it. It just takes a little bit of practice. Okay. Oh my God, these icons are gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so now if, if our video was playing out like this and we had the sound playing out, but we wanted the sound to become louder at the end here, what do you think that we should do at the end here to get that sound different than what we're already playing here? Make it a separate clip and raise the audio. Correct. So you can do that. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. And this this will be like the end of class after this. So I'll have a little bit of time for questions. So this line right here is your volume line, just like this is your volume line. OK. My suggestion would be to turn the volume down like this. And then if you want it to get louder at the end, do something like that. Now, now I always do, um, I always have my volumes in my video. I never have them at 100% because I don't know about you guys. I'm, I'm deaf in my one ear. So I always have things really loud. Um, and so when I have these at 100%, it's like, ah, you know, like really loud. So um, I always have them at a lower sound. I just think videos in general should always be at, at like half the decibel, um, decibel sound. So anyways, so that's what I would do here. So if you look here. Have a good one. I have my volume down just a bit on here. So you can't really hear it, but um, let's raise it up just a bit. one all right so it raises up at the end so that's really what you want to do is you want to raise up that sound at the end um and it completes your video any questions no questions at all all right, so next week I want to see everybody's video. <laughs> All right, is, is everybody okay with that? Like next week I want to see everybody's video. <laughs> Actually, I would love if you guys could share your videos. Like I don't even care what it looks like. I just want to see your video put together and I'd love for you to share it in a post that um that i did today in software skills for agents just share it in there as a comment um and if you can't then just create a new post in the group and just share it in the group so other people can see it okay um i think you should be proud of what you can create and um yeah all right hey sheila can you hear me yes i can dave hi uh this is dave from monument colorado um I did not do a video this week uh, because I wasn't in class last week. However, do either Canva or we video, is there a way to put in a, a, a background? Um, like my current home office is kind of a mess. I'm doing a transition from a bedroom to um, my office. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to maybe put in uh, when I create a video, um, a background so that you know, some of the, the clutter and stuff isn't 
shown. Is there a way to put yeah. it in the background in I, either I of the I don't like two? that clutter. <laughs> I kind of like that clutter. Uh, it's it's worse than that, I'm thinking, <laughs> right now. So my suggestion, so if, if you could see that blue cloth in the back there. Yep. Okay. That is um, a piece of fabric that I bought from Joann's. It cost me $25, I think it was, and it takes up my whole wall. Okay. Yep. And I record, like, as you can see in this video, that's what I recorded. Okay. And okay. what I do is I come into here and I take out the background. And I don't add in reminders. I don't do that. Um, and then what, what you can do is if you have that blue screen and you take that blue screen out, okay, you can put in a stock media background, something like, um, something like, um, I always like doing something like, um, like a TV station, or you could do like an office or a wall, uh, office to office wall. Um, uh, you could do something like this potentially. Oh, for the love. I definitely need to get rid of that. Let me get rid of my sound real quick. My um my system resources are dying here, so I think that's why I'm having issues playing it. And we will be learning. Let's get rid of some of these. Zoom link and all right, it's not um, my system resources are dying, so that's why it's not showing. But basically, you do something like this: you have a blue blue screen, and and here you would have your um, still image, okay? Yep. And you would basically be in front of it. So let's see if it'll play. Okay. Well, I yeah, it's not gonna play. <laughs> it's just being not being good. Um, let's see if I can get back into it after this. Um, and that's what I would do. Okay? okay. But you need to have a blue screen in order to do something like that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I was thinking something like that. But you know, I, I don't know how long my my office is going to be kind of in transition, but I'd like to in the start playing with this and um, figure it out because I think it's going to be really good for my my business. Dave, I spent $75 and got a portable green screen that folds up um, and it sits and attaches to my chair. So if you're doing um, uh, square or vertical uh, videos, the, all you see is the green screen and it cost me all $75, but her solution is cheaper. Actually, you guys, I had it on the wrong track. I am sorry about that. I'm doing trying to do too much here. So this is what it well, looks like. I can show you in the software skills for agents every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we all right, so it'll just play yeah, like in front. Um, obviously, I'm not, you know, I, I did it very quick. And um, there are um, some changes like that you can make. Uh, so it's a little bit less fuzzy here. But generally, that's the idea. 
or you could paint your wall blue or green. I would suggest green. Um, paint it green using like green screen paint and do it that way. Sometimes with the cloth, um, it makes it a little bit fuzzy. But generally, if you look at all my videos um, and, the, and the ones with the blue screen in them, they all look pretty well. You can't tell it's it's a blue screen most times, so. Okay. I'm actually- well, That sounds good. My wall. Um, Beth Ellen, thank you for the um, the suggestion on the portable. That, that sounds like a good deal too. I appreciate it. And then um, go I'm ahead, Beth Ellen, talk about your, your uh, Thursday class. First, Dave, I'm gonna actually paint though, cause then I don't have to mess with the screen and I'm just gonna take, I'm short, I'm only five two, so I only have to make it a, you know, I'm just taking a little sliver of a wall that has a lot of room for the camera so I can move it closer or farther away. And that's how I'm gonna solve it because then the light's gonna be more even because I found sometimes you have to make sure the light's even on a green screen so it doesn't mess it up. So I figured yeah. if I painted it, it would be easier to keep the light. Is that true? Isn't that true, Sheila? Yes, it is. Yes, that's that's exactly what you have to do is you have to make sure that your lighting is just right. Um, and you can, you can do that. I mean, if you look behind me, you, you can see the, the, the lighting back there. Yep. So um, you can usually just get the, the ring light and that should be all you need in order to have that, that blue or green screen. Um, not having that big shadow because the shadow is what causes that that hue around your body okay so that's why i'm going to paint so anyway to ask your answer your question um the class there's two on thursday the content creators is at nine o'clock ten o'clock for you dave in the um productivity center of exp university and we talk about the content of everything from your MLS listings to books. But this week we're going to talk about the content you need for uh, thumbnails for YouTube because it's really a content question and Sheila's gonna show us how to make them in Canva. And then at um, 11 o'clock Pacific, one o'clock Eastern, Jerome Lewis hosts the social media mastermind and the fifth week or the fourth week, which is this week, he's having a um, special guest. We don't know who it is. And that's the how-to part. The first class is the content. What do you put on anything? And his is the how-to. But Sheila and I and Jerome are going to do uh, the content of YouTube thumbnails and up how to upload and create a, a playlist in YouTube but concentrating on the thumbnails that people seem to be confounded about. And Sheila's going to show us how to do it in Canva. Good deal. I'll put it on my, uh, my calendar and make sure I'm there. All right. Appreciate it. Well, maybe, hey, um, Sheila, I had one more question. I'm sorry, Beth Ellen. I didn't mean to speak over you. You're totally fine. Um, I, I quickly signed up at the beginning of the class for we video, but my, um, my screen on my Wii video that I just signed up for does not look anything like yours. Is that because um, I haven't signed up for the professional? What is it? What does it look like? Um, it has far less um, stuff than what yours had on there. But the icon look like this? Did the, did the Wii video icon look like a triangle and then Wii video? Yeah. Basically, it just has right now, um, it has the Wii video and then home templates and media um, on the side and nothing else. Okay. So then when you go in, does it say create new? Yes. So when you go into create new, um, does it give you video recording, GIF? and product? Yeah, it sure does. Okay. So then you could, could pick a uh, horizontal out of okay. that. Yep. And then and then uh, once you do that, then you can go right into uh, video editing and uploading and all that. Okay. All right. I got it. Yeah, I, I somehow missed that when I was first looking around and listening to you at the same time. 
Yeah, no problem. But I got it. Awesome. Okay. Could you guys repeat the time for the uh, content class on Thursday? Yes, ma'am. 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Thank you. And we look forward to having you. And there will be a handout that I will email you. I do screen shares because sometimes it gets complicated. But Sheila's going to do it on her computer live. And then I'm going to have a handout of, in case you want something to refer to later. Because I can never figure it out the first time. It's too complicated. OK, thank you. Is there any other questions? All right, everyone, I hope you have a good night and we'll see you on Wednesday. Don't forget to come back for the Canva class, seven Eastern, seven o'clock Eastern, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, and I will put the Zoom link in the software skills for agents um, on Wednesday. So look for it there. All right, have a Thank good night. Thank you so much, appreciate it. All right. Learned bye -bye. a lot.